Hey, welcome to a new video. Cats and dogs are people's most popular pets, but there are those who go a step further. These people dare to make choices to take wild animals like wolves, bears, and crocodiles as pets. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. When Russian farmers found a wolf den with cubs in the Ostrakhan region, they were determined to kill off all the offspring. But Ivan Lebedev, a 46-year-old therapist, took pity and bought one of the cubs. He took the three- to four-week-old cub home and named it Sergei, which means gray in Russian. Soon, Sergei became an important member of the family, and he even moved with them when the family decided to move cities. Sergei developed bonds with the family, especially with Ivan's daughter, Alexandra. She became so fond of the wolf that she dreams of one day becoming a dog trainer so that she can help fathers care for the animal. She became so fond of this animal that she dreams of one day becoming a dog trainer so she can help her father take care of the animal. As their wolf grew larger, he needed more space, he needed to walk more, and of course, he needed to eat more. However, this wasn't a problem for Ivan and the family. Sarah, you may be a wolf, but he behaves just like any other dog. Gorillas are large animals that can weigh about 68 to 227 kilos. Wild gorillas are also extremely strong, because when they feel threatened or attacked, they can throw an adult human meters far through the air. But Coco the gorilla was born in the San Francisco Zoo and would never do this. Coco was known for learning sign language, but her caretaker and human friend, Francine Patterson, called it gorilla sign language. According to her, Coco has a vocabulary of more than a thousand characters. Scientists believe that Coco had an IQ of 70 to 95. The gorilla became even more famous when she adopted a kitten, which she called All Ball. Coco did not settle for a stuffed animal and asked for a real kitten. On her birthday on July 1984, she was allowed to choose one from a litter of abandoned kittens, which made her very happy. The 57-year-old woman named Mary Thorne from Lakeland, Florida in the United States has an almost 6 foot 7 inch or 2 meter long crocodile as a pet. The reptile named Rambo has been living with Mary for about 15 years now. The crocodile understands sign language and is very friendly with its owner and her little dog. Moreover, the crocodile does not pose a threat to other people. Mary doesn't mind kissing the animal on its nose at all. After all her children moved out, only the crocodile was left, so she sees the crocodile a bit like her child. The reptile even sleeps in the same bed as her. And when she goes out to do groceries or shopping, the crocodile accompanies her on the motorcycle. In addition, he also watches television on the couch and eats at the kitchen table. Mary also enjoys dressing him up in various clothes. However, these are to protect his vulnerable skin. The crocodile cannot tolerate too much sunlight. You might not think that you can raise a kangaroo, but in the case of Kim Perry, she did just that. She found Rocky the kangaroo in his mother's pouch on the side of the road after she had passed away. Fortunately, Kim had a rehabilitation permit for wildlife. However, in New South Wales, you're not allowed to keep rescued wild animals as pets. Nevertheless, Kim decided to raise Rocky from a baby to a full-grown kangaroo and treat him like her own child. Having a leopard as a pet is of course already incredible and scary, but a man named Armand Gerber from South Africa didn't settle for just one and wanted several. At the moment, he is caring for two leopards. As dangerous as the animals seem, he plays and cuddles with them, and soccer is one of their favorite games. Together with his wife, he manages the Iron Throne Predator and Wildlife Park in South Africa. Besides the two leopards, he has 10 lions and a cheetah. The wild cats roam freely on the 80-hectare property. The people also keep smaller cats, as well as porcupines and pigs. The couple also keep smaller wild cats, as well as porcupines and pigs. For Armand, the profession of park ranger is one of the most amazing jobs in the world. Raising these animals has allowed him to build a strong bond with them. Other people often think he's crazy to take care of such dangerous wild animals, but he loves doing it out of love and trust. Anteaters owe their name to the fact that their favorite food is ants. Anteaters use their sharp claws to tear open an anthill, and then it inserts its long snout and uses its sticky tongue to grab his food. These animals prefer to be alone, and they are very territorial. Anteaters may not be large animals, but they do guard their territory with their lives. They're usually not aggressive, but they can be very fierce. If they feel threatened, they can strike with their 10 centimeter claws, and they're not scared of anything, not even a puma or a jaguar. That's why many people were stunned when Salvador Dali, the great Spanish artist, took an anteater as a pet. He was once photographed walking the streets of Paris with his anteater. He took his anteater everywhere, just as if he was walking his dog. In this video, we see a gigantic anaconda named Medusa. The video was uploaded on July 22, 2018 on a YouTube channel called Reptile Channel. Here, a woman is shown living with this enormous snake. According to her, it's a friendly snake and has never eaten a human. Luckily, it was a green anaconda, which are the heaviest types of snakes in the world. 
This snake is a green anaconda, which is the heaviest type of snakes in the world. It's bizarre to think that someone would dare to have a 30 foot or 9 meter long snake as a pet. You would rather think this snake would be better off living in the rainforest or in the Amazon. According to the owner, the snake was abandoned and malnourished when they found it. It was also still a baby, and they hadn't expected it to grow so big. As you can see in the video, the snake enjoys cuddling and curling around its owner. Meet a lizard named MacGyver. Don't be intimidated by the intimidating appearance of this Argentinian red tego lizard. On the internet, the lizard was known as the favorite dog-sized lizard. MacGyver is a smart lizard because he knows his name. He comes when called and is house trained. He also loves his owners, Ice and Scott, and cuddles with them on the couch regularly. That being said, you still need to be careful around them. Lizards can be dangerous, and if you provoke them, they can bite. In a small town in Alberta, Canada, Jim Sautner once had a bison as a pet named Bailey Sr. When Bailey passed away, he got the chance to take care of a baby bison and named him Bailey Jr. Bailey Jr. grew up to be a pretty hefty bison, and Jim and his wife Linda bottle fed him until he was an adult. They became very attached to the bison, and he even gets to roam around in their bedroom. Sometimes Jim takes the bison to the bars in town, and people there are used to him by now. Peter Rice is one of the few people in the world who has a family with a 16 foot or 5 meter python as a pet. Most people will find this scary, but Lily, as the snake is called, has been with Peter since a baby. However, Lily is not the first snake in the family. Over the past 25 years, the family has taken in several snakes. Lily's diet consists mainly of rabbits, which she gets every three weeks. According to Peter, she has a great personality, and she's very calm and so laid back that even children aren't afraid of her. His daughter Chloe is even obsessed with snakes, and is determined to study reptiles at Milton Animal College. After all, she hopes that one day she can be the manager of a large zoo. Dingoes are wild dogs found in large numbers in Australia. They have a similar behavior to coyotes and gray wolves. Some even believe that they are descended from the great Indian wolf. They're basically used for hunting and are not at all suitable as pets. Lisa Jenkins, however, took the risks and adopted a wild dingo she called Chapa. She wanted a dog, but while searching online, she found Chapa in a dog shelter, and in her own words, it was love at first sight. Because Chapa was born in the wild, many people told Lisa that it was a bad and dangerous decision to adopt the dingo as a pet. Dingoes normally live in packs of 10 members, so Lisa then decided to take another dingo as a buddy for Chapa, and she called it Thor. The wealthy sheik named Humayd al Bukesh has a life with luxury cars, big houses, but what made him famous on the internet were his exotic pets. Over 800,000 people enjoy following him on Instagram where he shows his cheetahs, tigers, and other animals. And these animals you would normally only encounter in the zoo or in the wild. Humayd plays with his tigers, as you can see in the video, and lets his cheetah pose for his expensive Lamborghini so that he can post beautiful photos on Instagram. It's unclear how this sheik obtained his wealth but you can see that he's far from financially struggling. It's not surprising that with his luxurious lifestyle, he decided to create a zoo in his house. Owning exotic animals is seen as the ultimate status symbol for residents of the United Arab Emirates. Joseph and Rebecca, along with their teenage children, Daisy and Leo, are a unique family. They have six camels on their farm in the United Kingdom that they consider pets. When he was growing up, Joseph worked in the circus with dangerous animals like lions and tigers. So when the opportunity came to adopt camels, he jumped at it. Nowadays, the family has a whole group of camels, and they're even intelligent enough to open doors. Grizzly bears are one of the largest land predators in the world. They're often seen as wild and very aggressive. And that's exactly what Casey Anderson, an American naturalist and filmmaker, wants to change. For him, grizzly bears are often misunderstood, because in reality, they are one of the most intelligent and loving animals. Proof of this is his pet Brutus, an 800 pound or 363 kilo grizzly bear that he has raised since birth. Over the years, Brutus has become an important member of the family. During special occasions, he gets to sit at the dinner table with the family, and he even gets to eat with them if they behave well. Casey and Brutus are such best friends that when Casey got married, he had the grizzly bear there as his best man. This duo also has a television series called Grizzly Expedition, a documentary that captures the lives of bears in America's Yellowstone Park. Burmese pythons are one of the largest snake species in the world. Marcus Hobbs lives in his house in England with his partner and two young sons. They have a husky named Shiloh, a small snake named Monty, and a 5.5 meter long Burmese python called Hexi. About nine years ago, Marcus bought Hexi at a pet store, and in those years, he saw the python grow to a whopping 110 kilograms. Hobbs believes that Hexi is still growing and is even longer than 5.5 meters. 
He waited for Hexy to stop growing before asking snake experts to officially measure him. According to Marcus, maintaining Hexy is quite expensive, as he has to buy rabbits, stillborn deer, calves, goats, and pigs from local farmers to feed her. Marcus wants to tell people that snakes are not harmful as long as they are understood and kept under the care of a responsible owner. This YouTube channel called Exotic's Lair has all kinds of different pets. He has snakes, spiders, and even scorpions. And not just any scorpions, a huge one. I honestly don't know if it's possible to keep a scorpion as a pet in the Netherlands, because these animals are often poisonous, so they're not suitable for children anyway. In the video, he tells that the scorpion's quite old, and that he got it from a friend. Scorpions prefer to live in deserts, so he's created a special kind of spot for it. At one point, he even picks up the scorpion himself. He says that this black scorpion can pinch quite hard. But besides this scorpion, he also has other poisonous scorpions in his house. So if you're interested in these kinds of animals, definitely take a look at his channel. As a burglar, you're unlikely to rob this woman's house because she has not one, but four freshwater crocodiles, all of which roam freely in her house. Meet Vicky Lowing, an animal caretaker who has been rescuing and caring for crocodiles for over 30 years. She even takes care of Jilly, the only saltwater crocodile in the world that can be handled by a human without clamping her jaws on him. Vicky's crocodiles live alongside her reptile zoo, birds, and cats. The animal caretaker reaffirms that you should not keep wild animals as pets, if you're not a specialist. Dave Durnham is a man who has considered himself a lizard enthusiast. He has over four decades of experience caring for all kinds of lizards. Among all his lizards, Dave is a personal favorite, none other than Buddy, a green iguana that amazingly behaves like a dog. Buddy comes to Dave as soon as his owner calls his name, and he also loves to be patted on the head. Green iguanas are native to South America, but they can be found in many parts of the United States. They can grow as much as 6.5 feet or 2 meters long, and weigh 20 pounds or 9 kilograms. Their green color makes it difficult for predators to spot them in the wild. Its skin is also very strong with long spines on its back. Another fascinating feature of green iguanas is that they have a third eye, but not as you might imagine. Their third eye just helps them sense predators coming at them from above. Six years ago, a story came out of Pacho, the 5-meter crocodile that swam around with his friend Cheeto, a Costa Rican fisherman. This man saved Pacho after he was wounded. When the crocodile recovered, he wanted to release it back in the wild, but Pacho refused and stayed with the man until he died in 2016. But almost at that same but almost at the same time, another human reptile friendship came to light in Kira City, Hiroshima, Japan. Nobumitsu is the owner of a giant caiman, which he also called Cayman. Caimans are close relatives of alligators that can become 4 meters long. The man would often walk with his pet at the mall of his town with permission of the town hall. They've been living together since 1982, and the caiman has grown to 2.1 meters and now weighs 46 pounds. Caimans can live up to 70 years old, so the man hopes to live longer, because he doesn't want to leave his caiman alone. A family from Oldham, England owns an African serval cat. These feline creatures are mainly found in the African savanna. Kelly and Seb Jones have two children and a serval cat named Anubis. Although the cat is considered dangerous, it doesn't harm a fly. The family's built a secure outdoor space with cameras so they can keep an eye on this animal at all times. This isn't the only cat they have. They also have savanna cats and at one point decided to start breeding them. On a YouTube channel called Spotted Exotic, you can see videos of all their exotic animals. They even achieved the world record for the longest domestic cat in 2006. If you ever want to own such a cat yourself, it can cost you between $1,500 and $20,000. It takes steel nerves to cuddle with a python, and it's not recommended. But this 14-year-old Indonesian teenager loves it. She went viral by showing off her pets, a total of six giant pythons that could easily swallow a man whole. Chalwa, as the girl is called, comes from central Java and is very comfortable with her pythons. Apparently, steel nerves are genetically determined in this family, as her younger brother sometimes joins her in videos and shows the pythons roaming around their house. Perhaps this is the first time you've ever heard of an animal called a liger. Ligers are actually a hybrid between a male lion and a female tiger, hence the name liger. Meredith Bybee, better known as Moksha from Utah, is one of the few people who has raised huge ligers. She's developed a strong bond with her ligers. When she communicates with them, the animal responds to her. She even swims with her animals and also rides on their backs. Moksha currently resides at Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina, where she works as one of Doc Antle's three students. You may know Doc Antle from the documentary series Tiger King. In addition to being a professional liger expert, Moksha is also known as the Monkey Mama because she's raised many baby monkeys in recent years. 
Werner Freund was an 80-year-old German man who had given his life to dangerous wolves that he kept in his wolf park in the small town of Merzig in Germany. He founded the wolf park in 1972, and for over 40 years, he earned the trust of 70 wolves by acting as their leader. To do so, he had to howl, eat raw meat, and have his mouth licked. The licking of the mouth is seen as a sign of recognition and submission and this kind of behavior is therefore far from aggressive. The man, for example, was the first to drop a deer cadaver on the ground and was the first to take a bite out of it. The wolves watched drooling until he finished. After that, the wolves would feed on the rest of the deer. Werner had to behave like a wolf to earn the respect and acceptance of the other wolves. This ritual was part of it. You may have heard of this man before. Brian Barksick is known from Venom Hunters on the Discovery Channel. He has two YouTube channels, Animal Bites TV and his own YouTube channel where he shows all his special pets. In his description, he states that he vlogs his life as a reptile breeder of snakes, geckos, spiders, and other animals. He also has two dogs, lizards, and a crocodile. In these types of videos, he talks about animals in the wild. In one of his videos, he shows a huge goliath bird eating spider. He moves the spider to a new home. While this happens, he explains that these kinds of spiders can weigh quite a bit. As you can see, the spider's abdomen is bigger than the GoPro. Dare to have such a large spider as a pet? Let me know in the comments. Given the colossal size of this tarantula, it's no wonder this family named him Zilla. Tarantulas have a bad reputation because they look big and mean and can bite. Look at the spider in this video crawling on the woman's hand. Zilla is more likely a family dog than a spider. And contrary to popular belief, a tarantula cannot do much harm to you. Their so-called venomous bite? Experts say that tarantulas, while they can bite if provoked, are akin to bee stings in terms of dangerousness. The Brogues family from Moringa, Brazil is a normal family, until you meet their pets. The father, Arius, initially only rescued two tigers from a circus. His daughters fell in love with the tigers, ate with them, and even played with them, and they had even slept in the same beds. The tigers didn't behave like predators around them, and over time, the father decided to breed them, hence their house full of tigers. A kinkajou is a small tropical mammal that looks like a lemur, but is actually more closely related to raccoons. They're native to the rainforest, and it's more unusual to have them as pets than pythons and wolves. They live most of their lives in the trees. It's considered a very exotic pet, and that is probably why Justin and Samantha Powell, a couple from the American state of Florida, chose to have one as a pet. They bought her from a specialized breeder, and gave it the name Stella when she was only three weeks old. Depending on their species, King of Jaws can weigh up to 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. Their lifespan can reach 20 years, but according to most people, it's not a good idea to have them as pets. To remove a King of Jaws from their habitat can be bad for the animal. Also, the animals can become quite aggressive and scare easily. Pelicans don't pose major threats to humans, but they are one of the largest birds in the world, and their beaks are exceptionally long and dangerous. The pelican that Jeffrey Condon found on the coast of Greystoke Mahal Camp in Tanzania was confused and frightened. The baby pelican, he later named Big Bird, was separated from the other pelicans during a storm. He took the bird to his camp, hoping that he would recover and fly back. Jeffrey taught him to fly by running up and down the beach while he clapped with his arms to show Big Bird what to do. After a while, Big Bird had learned how to fly again but he didn't want to leave the camp. He did fly around in circles, but always came back. Big Bird became a phenomenon in 2014 because Jeffrey had a camera attached to his beak to capture his flying lessons and post them to YouTube. On a farm in the city of Texas in the United States lives a retired rodeo cowboy who lost part of his eyesight 10 years ago. Because of this, he had to sell a whole herd of buffaloes to pay the bills. But he decided to keep a smaller buffalo. Ronnie, the owner's name, adopted this buffalo into his house out of love and for his profession. The buffalo can sometimes be quite stubborn, hence his name. But Ronnie doesn't seem to be afraid of it. Which is a good thing because he has to show the buffalo who's boss. As you can see, the buffalo also enjoys watching action movies on TV. And he's even allowed to eat from the kitchen table. Sometimes they are surprised that the enormous buffalo doesn't cause more damage due to its immense size. Although, the buffalo comes and goes as it pleases. Veronica Dika is a model and professional dancer who has a giant bear as a pet. The woman lives in Russia and took in Archie the bear when he needed her. As a cub, he was rescued from a circus, and the safari park where the bear lived was closed during the pandemic. Then Veronica came into his life, and because she had worked with Archie in photo shoots and before, she wasn't a stranger to him. Now they live together and do many more photo shoots and are best friends, and she even taught him tricks. For Christophe Thomas, a young French farmer, bulls can be more loyal than dogs if they are well cared for. Meet his bull named Fajin. 
Initially, the bull was going to be sent to Barcelona to fight in an arena, but Christophe decided to buy him in order to save him. He did not regret his decision, because Pajin ended up becoming his best friend. Bulls are also often compared to cows, although they can grow much larger. However, a bull can be quite aggressive, so if you ever encounter one, make sure to keep your distance. When Hamid Abakish photographs his Mercedes G-Wagon, Lamborghini Huracan, Rolls-Royce Phantom, and Lamborghini Aventador, he often has big cats pose in front of him. The man says he has no fear of his pet lion, and fearlessly sticks his hand in his mouth, cuddles with him on the couch, and lets him lick his head. However, the lion is not his only dangerous pet. Several lions, tigers, and cheetahs live with him. Oh, and his bear once ripped the doors off one of his cars. Hyenas are predators mainly found in Africa and Asia. In Africa, there is a population living below the poverty line, and they are forced to find ways to make some extra money. These people call themselves hyena tamers. From a young age, the hyenas are captured and raised by the Nigerian people. This practice has been passed down from generation to generation to keep the families alive. They literally live together with these African predators. Additionally, they also have monkeys and snakes to entertain the public. This is, of course, not acceptable, but the government does nothing about it and people try to earn some extra money this way. According to the population, nothing has ever happened, and the animals show respect to their owners. But the muzzles are there to prevent anything from happening. The Brogues family from Moringa, Brazil is a normal family, until you meet their pets. The father, Arius, initially only rescued two tigers from a circus. His daughters fell in love with the tigers, ate with them, and even played with them, and they had even slept in the same beds. The tigers didn't behave like predators around them, and over time, the father decided to breed them, hence their house full of tigers. The Russian couple Svetlana and Yuri Pantelinko have been living with a huge brown bear for more than two decades. The family adopted Stepan the bear when he was only three months old, after he was found by hunters alone in a forest under difficult circumstances. This was the best decision of their lives, as Stepan became a cute bear who helped with chores such as watering the plants. The bear also enjoys to watch TV, and even knows how to act. Yes, you heard that right. The bear lets himself be photographed and poses during photos. Even two Russian models worked with the bear as part of an awareness campaign against hunting. They wanted to show that people can still take pictures with wild animals without harming them. Hippos are the most dangerous animals in the world, responsible for more deaths than lions, tigers, and sharks. But Jessica, the hippopotamus, doesn't seem to fit that statistic. She has appeared on Discovery Channel, BBC, and even on The Oprah Winfrey Show. The hippo washed up after a disastrous flood in the year 2000, and Tony Hubert and his wife Shirley decided to take care of this animal. Unlike other hippos known to be wildly aggressive, Jessica is described as gentle, so much so that she prefers to play and eat all day. In 2012, Jessica got an adopted brother, Richie the Hippopotamus. Tani Antle is the daughter of the famous Doc Antle we talked about a minute ago. She was an animal protectionist, and she also has a YouTube channel where she shares her experiences with wildlife such as monkeys, tigers, jaguars, wolves, alligators, and elephants in the world. Their pet, a chimpanzee named Sagriva, is a real entertainer. Tani considers her chimpanzee her own nephew, but actually she helps her father with his park where she cares for more than 50 tigers, a family of chimpanzees, African elephants, and many more animals. Tawny definitely wants to follow in her father's footsteps and become a professional zookeeper one day. Because of her knowledge of the wilderness, she's often called the queen of the jungle by her fans. Although American actress and spokesperson Kirstie Alley enjoys the company of her 14 lemurs, she doesn't recommend taking them as pets. Her home can sometimes get a little wild due to the activities of her ringtail lemurs. These animals are usually found on the African island Madagascar. The lemurs require regular attention and care. Therefore, she hired a full-time lemur caretaker. Kirstie once took a baby lemur to the airport and made customs think it was just a cat. Ringtail lemurs like to live in larger groups of 6 to 30 individuals, so she did well to take no less than 14 lemurs. Polar bears are only found in and around the Arctic region, and they mainly feed on seals. So having a polar bear as a pet is quite bizarre. Mark Dumas is a man who needed a polar bear for a film 22 years ago. He found one in the zoo whose mother bear was no longer able to care for the polar bear. Mark developed such a good bond with this bear that he decided to continue caring for the animal. He named it Aggie, and nowadays it's an adult bear, with which he does everything with it. He says that the only people who like the polar bear are his wife and himself. Mark's been working with these bears for 40 years, so he can read their body language well to keep himself safe. The two best friends often take a swim together in the pool during the day, and when they're tired, they sleep together in the polar bear's enclosure. 
According to its owner, the polar bear has a very good life. She doesn't have to hunt because all her food is brought to her. Tamed lions, tigers, and even bears might be understandable, but hyenas don't seem like a popular choice for a pet. However, when Brian met his hyena Jake, he became his best friend. The African spotted hyena is one of the most dangerous species, but Brian has a special bond with him. The two are inseparable and affectionate. Brian even wrote an autobiography titled, How the Heck Did You End Up with a Hyena? Kevin Richardson, better known as the Lion Whisperer, is a YouTube personality and conservationist. He has multiple wild animals, like black leopards, spotted hyenas, and above all, African lions. Lions are often portrayed as the king of the jungle, and Kevin thinks you should just let these animals live their life. This attitude has helped him win the trust of his wild friends. His first lion friends are the brothers Ta and Napoleon. Richardson was scratched by the lions and even bitten several times, but that didn't stop him from taking care of these animals. He's currently the owner of the Kevin Richardson's Wildlife Sanctuary near Johannesburg, South Africa. He often takes the lions for walks in the park, but he doesn't allow guests to walk with them because he knows that lions can become aggressive when they meet strangers. So we'll still have to be careful with wild animals. Tamed lions, tigers, and even bears might be understandable, but hyenas don't seem like a popular choice for a pet. However, when Brian met his hyena Jake, he became his best friend. The African spotted hyena is one of the most dangerous species, but Brian has a special bond with him. The two are inseparable and affectionate. Brian even wrote an autobiography titled, How the Heck Did You End Up with a Hyena? The Bengal Tiger or Royal Bengal Tiger is the largest cat. A 47-year-old woman named Janice Haley from Orlando, Florida in the United States finds them to be cuddly creatures and decided to take some as pets. She decided to quit her boring job in 1995 and started working with exotic animals. She now has a Bengal tiger named Ajanda, weighing 397 pounds or 180 kilograms, and a white Bengal tiger weighing 595 pounds or 270 kilograms. The woman says that the tigers rub against her face and that she can kiss them on the nose. The two tigers live in an enclosure in her backyard and are hand-fed three times a day. Besides that, she treats the animals like normal pets by petting them and giving them as much love as possible. Still, it seems a bit scary to have a wild animal as a pet because they remain wild by nature, even if they are domesticated. When you see how much the wild boar Pascalina loves her family, it makes sense that she doesn't want to go back into the forest. The couple found Pascalina as a piglet, barely alive in the woods, and by the time the wild boar was two years old, she was a full-fledged member of the family, alongside with many other pets. She loves cuddling with her family, eating strawberry yogurt, and playing. Pascalina has access to the whole house, including the kitchen, and chooses which bedroom she wants to sleep in. It's not every day that you get to raise and take care of cougars. For the Russian couple, Alexander and Maria, it's their daily routine. One of their most famous pets is Ichil the cheetah, who awaits in the same spot every day for her food and eats it from their hands. The family lives in a two-story house in Penza, Russia. And among the pets they own is Messi the cheetah, who initially lived in a circus. Later, they took in a female cheetah named Gerda. In 1997, Erwan, a resident of Bogar, a city in West Java, Indonesia, rescued a baby crocodile that had been mistreated by some children. He took pity on the little animal and bought it for only $1.50 and took it to his home. He had no idea that the rescued little animal would grow into a huge crocodile of about 440 pounds or 200 kilos. But for Erwan and his family, that wasn't a problem. Because over the years, the crocodile, which they named Kojek, became a member of their family. Even their neighbors and friends thought Kojak was an unusually gentle crocodile. They claimed that he had never harmed anyone. Erwan fed him 4.5 pounds or 2 kilos of fish every day, and the crocodile also liked to bathe. The crocodile had become their best friend, and so it broke their hearts when the state government of West Java had to take Kojak away, because crocodiles are prohibited as pets by Indonesian law. Would you want a wild animal as a pet that could potentially be dangerous? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.